Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now for this week's video, I had a, a comic pages that I've been working on for a while, but I started on my hard drive and I haven't updated it because I hadn't finished page two yet. Now this is a little bit of experimentation. I wanted to do a comic, just different styles of watercolor comics. So page one and two will be vastly different. So here you'll see more of the steps of what I used to create a watercolor comic. What you see here is after the initial sketches using my red pencils and going over with the ink outlines. Now I transfer it, I'm transferring it over to my light box onto the uh, Bristol paper so that I can use the Bristol paper to use the actual watercolors. Here I'm going over the outlines using a turquoise ink using my G pen and the Dr. PH Martin's ink. The color scheme I'm using is orange and teal based on the latest Fury Road movie. Here it is me doing a similar method. I'm doing an underpinning with the uh, Derwent ink tents. The technique I used for this was to grab the paint from the block using a wet watercolor brush and then paint directly onto the paper. On page 2, I did a different method which I'll show later on that video. This is actually based on the opening scene of the Road Warrior. It involves him scaring the wastelands for gasoline and the wasteland bandits chasing him. Next you see me using the orange ink tents for the highlights of the colors. Now at this point you'll see me using my watercolor brushes to do the regular colors of the uh, images here. Now with the Bristol paper it's a little bit hard to do a, a watercolor comic on Bristol paper because even though the paper is thick it doesn't really absorb properly and you see a lot of mudding of the colors. But I, I tried to uh, remedy that by going over again once it dries to smooth out the colors. Now I'm adding more layers. Usually when I start with the watercolors, I start with the lighter colors and add more layers. Wait till they dry first and add more layers till they get a more darker, richer color. With additional layers, I usually try to add more detail and refine the images. Here we are starting on the last portion using my Prismacolor pencils and I start with the Prismacolor very thin to darken the uh, outlines because earlier I used the PH Martins ink using my G pen but I watered down the ink a little bit and I didn't like the effect so I went back and did it over with the uh, Prismacolor very thin. The very thin are harder so they can do more sharper lines. Now at this point I'm doing the more of the details with the regular Prismacolor pencils and the fine details that are harder to do with regular watercolors using a brush. I find using using mixed media with the color pencils really work well with watercolors. So what do you guys think? Like I said, I'm trying to do some experimentations with comic pages using a watercolor comic pages and with page two I will try a different technique on those so give me some feedback what would you like to see next until next time guys bye